Welcome to the channel. Today we are going to look at another small, nice old camera from my collections. Uh, this time it's called Baco or some B A C O. There's a, it's a very small. Uh, I would guess it was considered a press camera at the time, meaning a professionally used camera. Kind of a target audience. Don't know how much, how much it was truthful actually. But this is what it looks like. It's uh, got this black uh, paint, which is like this wrinkle, crack or whatever you call it. It's got a, I don't know, holder for film, which is here, still in place. Uh, don't know, I have no idea if there's anything inside there. would feel like there's nothing, but I could be wrong. This was originally, I think, made for roll film size or the plate film of that size, like around six times nine centimeters approximately, or the inch variant. Uh, it's quite heavy. It's small, but it's quite heavy. It's aluminum casting all over, or could be something else included, but magnesium maybe. Not sure, most likely aluminum. Uh, it has a viewfinders like this here, milled the slot here, I don't know why. Maybe there was something attached here. You can fold it from. Here's the front viewfinder frame, which matches with this one. Uh, you focus it from the knob here, so you move it forward and backwards. And I was thinking there's no scale here. Yeah, there's no scale here. I actually bought this from, I believe when I was in U, living in the US, um, some years ago still, so uh, it's been, I think, in package ever since, since I haven't yet gotten myself a good workshop where to put everything on shelves and so on. But yeah, weird, it doesn't really have that scale. Maybe something was meant to be put there. Quite crudely made this part. Maybe not original. And it doesn't want to simply go all the way to the end. Maybe there's some dirt or something inside there. I really haven't taken much look at this since I moved back from the US to Finland. Um, here's the lens panel. It's made from, is it wood or cardboard? Would it appear to be cardboard or something similar? I painted black and there's a Kodak Anastigmat lens, so not anything too fancy. Uh, some stuff is still loose. Uh, uh, it's also oxidized a bit, dirty. So I would say this is the camera that's probably not been used for or taken care of for almost half a century or more than that. Yeah, this is what it will look like. But really simple. Here's the part that slides in and out when you move the focus it. Yeah. Where I'm doing this, I think there's some, some dirt or something stuck there. Yeah, I think here's two place for screws. I think there was probably a place here you could put a range finder in here. Actually, I have some extra range finders. Maybe I will put one here. Uh, because you can still get film to this. So, uh, and you can have these accessory bags which allow you to... Oh, this is actually openable. This is metal. So unlike many others where it's leather or something else. Uh, hop, oh, it opens. Ah, oh, there's an intact glass even. With different type of screws attached. So I would say this definitely was modified at some point. And sometimes the fact that if you have different kinds of screws and you can see that the screws and the parts are old. The modification doesn't always mean that it was like someone just at home decide to modify or play around with it. But uh, there's I have had several really cameras which have for sure been in really professional use, but uh, they were just expensive. And when you had a camera, you didn't want to throw it away. So you just repaired it sometimes by yourself and sometimes by professional shops. Uh, I mean, these are much easier to so-called quick repair than more than digital any cameras. So it was, people did that. What's interesting is here's the plate of it. Uh, there's the serial number. And then it's model B, it says Press Baco, Press Club Baco, Baco Accessories CO, Hollywood 27, California. 
I tried searching Google in this company. I found some information about it online, Bako Accessories, but it, it the company was closed down somewhere. Was it in the end of 50s already? Uh, there was a lot of companies, especially in California at the time. Uh, one of the print axes, which I showed you, I think in earlier videos, and a few others, which are all made from aluminum. So this is just a story I heard can't verify it well, but there was a lot of aluminium, surplus aluminium left from the World War II airplane industry, and it wasn't needed anymore in the quantities. And they were decommissioning a lot of equipment from World War II, which led a huge amount of very actually quite high quality metals was available very cheap and easily. So I noticed that several car camera companies, for example, I guess took use of this. And I'm, I mean, I know based on something I read that Beko made uh, film holders and some other products related to film. But, and I heard and I read, saw something online about some other camera models and so on. But I guess one of the things they could have done is that they, they saw the opportunity, let's make cameras. They gave it a try and well, it didn't work out very long. Here's the tripod uh, thread. I have a few other cameras, I will make later videos about them, and they all come from the same area, most of them from Los Angeles, most of them made from this kind of aluminum casting of different shape. Some simpler like this one, some much more complicated, but I think one common thing with all of them is that none of the companies lasted a long time, and at least from, to me it seemed like at least most of those companies really didn't try to even stay in business for long. Uh, what do I think about this camera review? It's actually very handy. It's perfect size. It's not too big. It's very sturdy. It's It's got correct size. I mean, the only problem is that the focus on the left. In many more cameras, contemporary cameras, the focusing is on the right on both sides. Uh, this is actually quite a nice thing to hold. Very robust. You can aim it very well. Rather than interesting, it's simple, very simple. You know, when you think about the motor production, you just cast this part, uh, machine some other parts, made whole screws, uh, buys a shutter and the lens from somewhere else, even if this isn't original. You can buy accessories at here. It actually, it's not the prettiest, one of the good things though with this casting camera, casted cameras, is that actually not all of them. I have some which have horrible edges, but the edges are round, so they they're not sharp. There's nothing really sharp in this camera. That's why it's so comfortable to put your and here and here. I wonder if this is actually a design feature. Of course, if you have a rangefinder here, you well, I guess you could still put it. But it's really comfortable camera to hold. I'm, I don't know. I know some people used to convert old cameras to digital. <laughs> this might be a fun project. But even more fun, actually, would be to make this work and take pictures with it. Because I definitely could. You definitely can make it work again and take pictures with it. So, this is what the Baco, Baco Press Club camera from Los Angeles, California looks like. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.